Hey guys, my name is Dan, and if you don't know me, I'm the director here at Element Animation, and I play a few characters in the videos. My favorite and most challenging character, of course, being Wooly, the talking sheep. Bah. Oh my god, oh my god, he said it. Now, it's no secret that animation takes a long time. So, while our next videos are in production, we thought it'd be fun to go back and tear apart our old work. People love to do that, right? Right? This new character is me. <gasps> <gasps> Now, even though our animations take a long time to make, we're still going as fast as we can. And that can lead to some mistakes. So let's find out everything, everything wrong, wrong with our videos. videos. Yay. And this time it's villager news. Villagers, they've been around for what feels like a millennium in internet time. And since we created our version of them, they've spun off into lots of different series. They have their own superhero with his own actual book. It's a book and they've been included in lots of other channels. Ta -unta. Including the official Minecraft channel. They even took over the game for a day. Gravel, 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 and sand, sand, wood, 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 wood. So, we're technically canon, right? We originally created them as side characters for an eggs guide to Minecraft. Travelers, you must help us. Our village is being attacked by a wild beast. But we didn't really get to see them in their element until Villager News. So let's see what we got wrong with that. Before we start though, Villager News has gone through a bunch of style changes and improvements over the years. So we're not going to focus on those because we, we could be here for days. What we're looking for is the technical problems. Let's go! So as soon as the first video starts, we spot a problem. And it's this, this weird blurry text on the sides. So why did that happen? Well, when you're making a sign and you want text on it, you could just slap it on the texture in Photoshop and just drop it on. But then if there's loads of signs and they all say something different, you'd have to make a different texture for every single one. So instead, we just put some flat 3D text slightly in front of it. So you can make it say whatever you want at any time. You'd think that'd be fine. But back then we used to use a lot of something called ambient occlusion. AO is a sort of fake shadow that gets into the corners and the nooks and the crannies just to give everything a little bit more contrast and depth. Minecraft itself eventually started using a version of AO in the game that they called smooth lighting. But we thought we were super cool because we did it first and we applied it to everything. It's kind of like when you first discover filters and you ramp it up to the max. Perfect! So adding AO to the scene meant that this text casts a shadow onto the signs leading to this weird overly soft looking text. Now, the police are everywhere. This next issue is this. Check out the black area here. That's supposed to show the inside of the villager cloak. So on the old villager textures, there were two parts to the body, the cloak and this undershirt. And there's a little gap at the top of the cloak where you're supposed to see through to the undershirt. But it's not really a gap in the geometry. It's a clear part of the texture, kind of like a window. The problem with that is that our old friend Ambient Occlusion didn't know about the window and saw it as a solid object. So what we're seeing is the shadow caused by the cloak itself. But hey, it looks like somewhere in the middle of the video we noticed and fixed it. After spending hours and days banging your head against the wall trying different ways to solve the problem that doesn't make any sense, failing over and over again until you've lost all faith and- Oh, here it is. Neat. This was quickly followed by a high speed- Now I know we weren't going to talk about stylistic stuff, but those low poly geometric eyebrows used to bug me so much. Not enough to do anything about it for like two years, but those eyebrows needed smoothing out. And usually when you want to smooth something out in 3D, you subdivide it. But you try doing that to a villager head and uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely some extra steps. It was just a normal day in the village. The crops over here have these weird lines over the top. All of the block textures in Minecraft used to be on one big image, so if you wanted just one of them, you had to use a UV map, which tells it which part of the image to grab it from. It looks like in this case, this one wasn't perfect and it was dragging in some of the pink wool from above it. But check this out, if you move a UV map, it makes everything go super trippy. Villager News could have been a very different show. He's running, he's running, are they gonna catch him? Look at the torches there. We just didn't even bother texturing them. They're all just pitch black. Yeah, I like my soul. It looks like quite a situation, Doc. You've seen a helicopter before, but a villager copter is something else. Unlike a regular helicopter though, the villager copter has really bad motion blur. Helicopter blades are gonna blur like this, in a circle. You've seen it, right? But our villager copter doesn't do that. And that's because all of the motion blur in all of our videos is fake. <gasps> oh, what? 
I know, such a scandal. We do it because rendering real motion blur takes ages. And when you're trying to get a video done as fast as you can, that's a massive setback. So we fake all of our motion blur in post. The main problem with that is that it can't handle things that move really fast. This is what we start with. This is what we want it to look like, but this is what we get. Most of the time, this way of doing motion blur is really good and it's super quick, but every now and again, it spits out these glitches. You know what, let's just add a bunch more because there's so many motion blur glitches in this video. Gonna catch him, we don't know. Back to this shot with the broken torches. There's no tall grass anywhere, except here. But then later there is. If you're a super observant Minecraft player, you might have noticed that in our earlier videos, a lot of the tall grass and foliage was perfectly aligned to a grid. No? Well, it's not like that in the game. It's scattered about and a bit more random. We couldn't export that from the game though, so we made a system to paint them in ourselves, but that came way after Villager News. Stop! No! Oh, he said no. For a long time, we've made the leaves on our trees solid, so you can't see through them, but it looks like one of them here didn't get the memo. In the game, you can make them solid by turning graphics from fancy to fast. <gasps> We did that so we wouldn't have to build too much. We just placed a bunch of trees that you couldn't see past. Without it, we'd have had to keep building sets all the way to the horizon. Or you'd see that the world just ends. Or that we build all of our sets in the same world. I knew it! There are a couple of things on this shot. First, the treetops are missing. This will have been done in the game before we exported the world. We use world edit, and that lets you slice through anything. Side note, if you want to come help us build sets, come hang out on our server. We could always use the help. Anyway, I don't know why the trees were chopped, but when it was built, I don't think we expected the village to be seen from this high up. The second issue is right here on the villager's pelvis. There's some kind of weird warping going on. Now this is a problem with that old villager rig. I, th I think we built him in like an hour, so there are a lot of issues. One of them was this weird stretching that happened when they were pulled away from the center. <laughs> Missile inbound. What? Deploying flares! Deploying flares! Here, the world ends! It just ends! We should be able to see all the way to the horizon from this height, but that would mean exporting a huge chunk of land to fill that area, and at the time our computers were dying with just this. And the last one. This is madness! This is the big 300 scene, and we all love this part. This is Minecraft! But you see his cape? That's not in any of the other shots. We just didn't put it in. And we are explaining things into your ears, explaining things. So that brings our total count to... Uh, is this a good or a bad thing? Okay, so there's probably loads more that we missed, and if you do find any, let us know in the comments. But the main takeaway from this is that you don't have to make everything perfect. With Villager News, we wanted to make people laugh, and I think we did that, even with all these problems. Also, some of these problems can help and make it funnier. But even so, it's always good to go back and look at your work, see where you can learn, or make it better. Even really old work. If you managed to make it this far, thank you for watching. This video was supposed to go over a few episodes, but we ran out of time just with this one. But let us know if you like this and if we should do more. Shout out to our ultimate patron, Wolf and Horton Clan. Thank you. Pointing out. We are pointing out. We're pointing out. All of the problems we're pointing out. Things that we did wrong we're pointing out. Things that were not good we're pointing out. We'll break it down, we are breaking down, we'll break it down, no not like depression, we'll break it down, all of our old work, we'll break it down, so we get better, we'll break it down.